Evening, everybody. As we go on the air at 10 o'clock, breaking news all across North Texas tonight. Flooding in this instance has closed part of 75 Central Expressway in Plano. For a while tonight, both north and southbound lanes were closed right near Plano Parkway, and you see why. Southbound traffic, though, now getting by, but the northbound side of the highway does remain flooded and does remain closed to all traffic. In short, it is a mess. Marianne Martinez gets us underway live tonight, 75 in Plano Parkway. Marianne, what do you see? What are the conditions like there? Well, Doug, let me tell you, this could have been so much worse. Ten people safely rescued from what essentially turned out to be a death trap here on 75. This is how it all started. There's rain coming down here in Collin County, hitting uh, this area particularly hard. You see over there on the northbound end of 75, there's construction. Underneath those wooden slats, there is a barrier between the construction and the road. The Plano Fire Department tells me it essentially acted like a bathtub, collecting water and just unleashing it on drivers who were heading northbound on 75. Eight cars were stranded here on the road. Ten different people rescued from those cars. Uh, everyone is safe tonight again, but there was so much water gushing there. One firefighter telling me it was up, it would have been up to my chin at the highest point. So, what they ended up doing is closing down traffic on both sides so they could let that uh, construction area basically drain out very slowly to avoid anyone else getting stranded and possibly their lives in danger in this area. But of course, that did mean they shut down traffic on both sides. Again, the southbound lanes have now reopened, but you see over on the north end, it's still shut down. We saw a tow truck show up uh, not too long ago to try to move those cars out of the way. Eight different cars got to be pulled before the northbound lane can be reopened and traffic go back as normal. But we also saw another crash just happen here on the southbound lane. So as you're saying, Doug, it is definitely a mess out here. Yeah, Back best, to you. best way to describe it. Thank you so much, Marianne. We just got this while Marianne was talking. Southbound 35E in Denton. That is now closed down at State School Road. All of that because of water covering the roadway there. Uh, police Department says that is probably going to be closed for several hours. Another major highway affected tonight. Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget, let's bring you in now. So, all the rain, I combine this with the darkness, that becomes a really serious threat for so many people. Absolutely. And we always try to say turn around, don't drown. I have some more reports coming in here from Richardson. Multiple road closures in Richardson due to flooding. Closures included Jupiter and Collins, the 500 block of Arapahoe, Spring Valley and Frontage, Greenside and Custer, Yale and Campbell. Let me find this one more second. And Campbell and Jupiter there. Uh, so we are continuing to see this as well. And also I 35E shut down at State School Road due to water covering the road. This coming in also out of Denton County. So I'm getting that. Here from the National Weather Service. Uh, we're continuing to see the uh, rain holding on across parts of North Texas. Heavy rain at times still now pushing through parts of the Metroplex. A number of flash flood warnings to talk about at going into the remainder of the night tonight. We have this flash flood warning for Dallas and Tarrant County until 1145 because of those roads covered by water. Uh, seeing in some spots an inch and a half to two to three inches of rain over the past two to three hours. You see their radar right now. A lot of heavy rain. East sides of Tarrant County, west and northwest sides of Dallas County. This is slowly rotating its way east, northeast through parts of Collin County as well, where we just showed you uh, right around 75. We now have this flash flood warning in effect for Collin, Fannin, Grayson, and Hunt County until 12:15 tomorrow morning. And then also looking back through parts of Wise County and Denton County, we now have a flash flood warning just issued right before we came on the air uh, until three o'clock in the morning because of that flooding that we've been talking about. And Look at some of the rainfall estimated radar estimated rainfall near McKinney. Almost four inches of rain over the past 12 hours. More rain falling on that very saturated ground cannot really soak up any more rain. There is 75. There's Plano where we showed you uh, the road covered by water in parts of Denny County. As much as four to almost four and a half inches of rain in some localized spots. And that ground very saturated and more heavy rains pushing through Flower Mound near Highland Village. Here's Little Elm. There's 377 in Aubrey. Light to moderate rain. Green you up in Cook County today, five inches of rain in the northwest sides of Cook County. Right now, just seeing some light rain. We're continuing to see this all pushing its way south to north. Heaviest rain, though, right now through parts of Tarrant and Dallas County. So, really seeing that water piling up on some of the roadways in those low lying spots. 
East sides of Dallas County right now, you're doing okay. However, this heavy rain's rotating its way through. And we're not done yet because the upper level support that's squeezing out all of this moisture from the atmosphere is still back to the west. We'll continue to track its way east through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. That's why we have this flooding concern continuing. You can see so much rain over the uh, day today over parts of North Texas. Flash flood watch in effect through uh, Saturday afternoon, Doug. We're going to see our rain chances start to taper off through tomorrow afternoon and into Sunday. We'll have more on that coming up. Scotty, thanks. This is uh, where heavy rain filled up streets really quick and it overwhelmed storm drains tonight in Richardson. This is why you want to avoid driving anywhere tonight if it's absolutely not necessary. It's the best advice. And look how quickly through this light that water is moving. Fast moving water in Richardson's Duck Creek. This is part of northern Dallas County. They got a really heavy round of rain tonight between about 7 and 8 o'clock, even though they haven't gotten much of a break. That was the really tough part. From Richardson now to Irving to McKinney, much of the northern half of DFW has been getting hammered with flooding rain all night long. This is video out of McKinney tonight. This came down in buckets and created waterfalls in some spots. And Irving police showing us the pounding rain there right as the sun was setting earlier this evening. Members of the highly skilled Texas Task Force One, also the search and rescue team, they're in North Texas during the flood threat tonight. Thankfully, they're here. They did arrive from College Station where they're based just before the rain began tonight, in case, of course, that their help might be needed for anybody who may get trapped in high water. So they're